So in today's video, I'll show you how to unbox and set up the Canon PIXMA MG3620 all-in-one printer. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video, so feel free to check that out. And I will be doing a full review of this printer, so stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for when that video is uploaded. Now the easiest way to get the printer out of its box is to lay the box on its side on a flat table of surface, which is what I've done. And I've gone ahead and opened the box up. And the easiest way once you've got the box open is to pull on the plastic bag that's on the inside and then pull the printer onto the table or surface. And before you remove the end caps and the plastic bag, the first thing you want to set aside is the box with the cables and the accessories. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and removed the foam end caps and the outer plastic packaging. And inside that packaging, you'll find some documentation and even a CD. I'm not exactly sure who uses a CD in this day and age, but it's there if you need it. So the next step is to remove all the protective plastic packaging, and let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to first open the scan bed up so I can access most of the pieces of plastic, and I'm going to remove this piece of tape on the side. And let's remove all these pieces of tape, and then I'm going to gently start peeling off these pieces of plastic. And there's one more out here on the side. And for the next step, I'm going to open up this front cover and then remove this piece of plastic. And then I'm going to open this front cover, open it forward so I can access the rest of the pieces of tape. And there's this one little piece of tape up here. Peel that off right there. And there's another piece of tape that extends all the way into the print cartridge compartment. And I'm going to pull on that nice and gentle and get that piece of tape that also has a piece of foam attached to it, so you want to remove both of those. And you can close these front compartments back up and close your scan bed. And there's two more pieces of protective packaging to remove, and those are at the back of the printer. So I've kind of placed the printer on its nose so I can access it. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this piece of tape from here and peel that piece of tape all the way up and then pull this orange piece of plastic out. You don't need this anymore. And that allows you to now open that rear compartment to clear jams in the back. And let's now open up that little box with all the cables and accessories. And the first thing you'll see is the power cable. And next you have the 241 color cartridge and the 240 black cartridge. So for the next step, I'm gonna plug one end of the power cord into the back of the printer. And the jack is all the way to the right on the bottom and plug that cable in and then plug the other end into a power outlet and next we're going to power the printer on by pressing the power button and then wait for it to go through its boot up sequence and in the next step we're going to load the cartridges into the printer and to do that I'm just going to remove the protective packaging from the container that contains each cartridge so I've peeled off the protective packaging on the black cartridge and then I'm going to remove it from its container and then as one last step I'm going to peel off this protective piece of tape on the print head and we're going to do the same for the color cartridge peel off the protective cover remove the cartridge from the container and then remove this piece of protective tape and for the next step I'm going to open up this front cover and then the inner cover and then I'm going to pull on this inner cover and release it. And once all those covers are open, you'll notice you have access to the cartridge tray. And the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push down on the left-hand cartridge tray to open the lock. And then I'm gonna insert the color cartridge on the left. And to do that, I'm gonna push the cartridge into the tray like that, and then push up to lock it into place. And then I'm gonna pull down on the right-hand cartridge lock. And then I'm gonna insert the black cartridge into the tray. Again, the same exact way, and you're going to have your electronic contacts facing inward, and I'm going to push it in to the tray, and then I'm going to pull up on the lock to lock it into place. Now let's close all the covers up, and let's wait for it to go through its entire cartridge initialization sequence. This takes a few seconds, and once it's done with that sequence, you'll notice that the power button is no longer flashing, and that the Wi-Fi light is now flashing. This is perfectly normal. Next, let's load some paper into the paper tray. And to do that, I'm gonna open up this front cover and then extend the paper tray extender. 
and then I'm going to push the paper guide all the way to the right and that opens up the entire paper guide and then I'm going to load my paper which in my case is 8.5 by 11 or it can be A4 size sheets into the paper tray and then I'm going to adjust the right paper guide inward to ensure that the paper feeds nicely into the printer and then I'm going to close this output tray cover. Now once that's done the rest of the setup for this printer needs to be done either on a computer or a smartphone and that's exactly what we're going to do. Now just because of how glitchy the Windows setup process is on this printer I highly recommend setting it up using a smartphone first and then doing the Windows or Mac setup. So that's what we're going to do first and to do that the first thing you'll need to ensure is that the wireless or Wi-Fi on the printer is turned on and to do that you're going to press down on the Wi-Fi button on the printer till the LED next to the power button begins to blink and then you're going to press the Wi-Fi and color buttons at the exact same time and once you do this you'll notice the LED next to the Wi-Fi button begins to blink slow and then blinks much more rapidly and this tells you that the Wi-Fi network on the printer is turned on and the first step to the setup process is to go into your app store now I'm obviously using an iPhone but if you're using an Android phone you want to go into the Play Store and you want to search for Canon print and once you find that tap get to install it and wait for it to download and install then tap open and then I'm going to agree to all the terms and conditions I'm going to check those check boxes and then tap OK and then it asks me whether I'd like it to allow print to find devices on local networks I'm going to tap allow and then tap search and it starts to search for all available printers and then a dialog box opens up tap join and then it wants you to select the Wi-Fi network that is your home Wi-Fi network network where this printer will be connected and I'm going to select my Wi-Fi network which is Vortex and then I'm going to enter the password for my home Wi-Fi network and then tap OK and then on the next screen where it asks you to register your printer tap on the printer which is the Canon MG3600 series tap on that and then it asks you to select an image you'd like to print and test print if you'd like and I highly recommend this I'm going to select an image and then hit print and it should now be printing the image and once it's done printing that test page it will automatically bring you back to the home page of the app where it shows you your printer up top and it allows you to do things such as scan smartphone copy print documents print photos and all that good stuff and this is pretty much all the setup that you need to do on a smartphone or tablet to get this printer up and running and we can now move on to the Windows or Mac setup and now that we've completed the smartphone setup of the printer and connected the printer to our local Wi-Fi network we can now proceed with the Windows or computer setup of this printer now I'm going to be doing this using a PC running Windows 11 but the process is pretty much identical on the Mac and to do this I'm going to need to use a browser window. Now I'm using Google Chrome but you can use any other browser you like. So click to open a browser window and then type in canon.com forward slash IJ setup and then hit enter and when that page opens up click set up and in the search bar of the page that opens up type in the name of the printer which is MG3620. Select that from the drop down and click go and then we're going to click the download button to download the software that we need and wait for that download to complete and you can see that the download is done let's open that up and it unzips that software and opens up a new little window and I'm gonna click start setup and this does take a few minutes and on the window that follows it asks you to select your region in my case I've selected the United States I'm gonna click next
next and then it wants you to agree to all the terms and conditions i'm going to click yes and then it wants you to agree to an extended survey program this is obviously optional but i'm going to select agree just to move on and then it asks us to accept all install wizard processes and what it's asking us to do is allow all the prompts that windows blocks during the setup process click next and then it asks you how you'd like to set this up we'd like to set this up wirelessly so i'm going to select wireless lan you always have the option of a usb connection click next and for the next step it asks you whether you'd like to connect via a wireless router or go with a direct connection i'm going to connect to it via a wireless router because we've already connected the printer to that router click next and then it asks you to check if your printer is turned on which it is in our case click next and then it is trying to detect the printer okay and there you go it's found the printer now i'm gonna click that little checkbox next to the printer and then click next and then it begins to install the required software and it's installing some of the drivers required and then the next process is a recommended print head alignment now this is kind of optional if your printer prints just fine you can keep it the way it is you don't need to go through this process but again it is something you can consider if you'd like to do it i'm not going to do it right now i'm going to click next and then it allows you to execute a test print and you can do that i'm going to click execute and then it lets you know on the next page that setup is now complete i'm going to click next and then it wants to know what software it should install and then i'm going to uncheck things like user manual i don't really need it but again it's entirely up to you if you choose to install this i'm going to install my printer i'm not going to install my image garden i'm going to install quick menu and i'm not going to install easy web print ex all i want is control over my printer and then obviously the drivers and then click next and it's now installing the software and then it asks me if i'd like to register my canon product now i highly recommend doing this especially for warranty purposes but in my case i'm going to click skip and then it lets you know that installation has been completed successfully and this is pretty much all the setup that you need to do on a windows computer or a mac and if you're looking to buy this printer i'll leave a link right below the video so feel free to check that out hope you found this video useful if you did please give it a big thumbs up and please also consider subscribing to my channel for more reviews unboxings and how-to videos thanks for watching and see you next time